the world's smallest insulin pump ever has been cleared by the FDA. I'm Justin, welcome to Diabetech, and today I've got an awesome video for you. On this channel, I talk all things diabetes tech, news, management, and beyond. Tandem's brand new super small pump is cleared for those who are six years and older, and I mean, look at it, that's a quarter. It is super small. In fact, it is less than half the size of their current pump, the T-Slim X2. And it can be worn in a bunch of different ways. It's got a lot more flexibility. You can go into your change pocket in some jeans, and it even has support for a five inch tube. We're gonna get into all of that, everything we know so far, as well as the plan that Tandem has for this pump. There's like a three part plan and the future of a tubeless pump from Tandem. Tandem acquired a company a couple years ago and I've got some more information on that. All right, let's get into it. The brand new pump will be very similar to the T-Slim X2 when it comes to software. It's going to be an automated insulin delivery system that works with the Dexcom G6. We can only imagine that it's going to work with Dexcom G7 and Libre 2 in the future because the T-Slim X2 is going to support that. Now, this pump has that same algorithm, that control IQ that the T-Slim has. So you're going to expect a very similar treatment as the other pump, but there is no screen on this thing. It All it has is like an LED indicator light. All the controls for this pump are on an iPhone app. That's what Tandem's saying, iPhone app, iPhone app, that's all I'm hearing. I don't know about Android yet. It hasn't been in the news. I can imagine that one day there will be an Android app, but for now, all I'm hearing about is the iPhone app. I'll try and get more information on that and let you know soon. The pump will hold up to 200 units, and it's going to have the ability to leave the site in and just change that cartridge out with more insulin. No word on how long the sites will last, although Tandem is working on a seven-day solution. I don't know when that's coming. I did talk about that with Gary Shiner at ADA. You should check out that episode. It's both on YouTube and all major podcast platforms for my podcast, the Diabetic Podcast. It, it, the pump itself adheres directly to the body, similar to an Omnipod. Now, Medtronic has their own seven-day infusion set that is here with the 780G. I got into all of that talking to Medtronic as well. You can find that on here and on my podcast too. So it does seem like we are headed into a seven-day infusion set for most pumps, and I can only imagine that that's coming to this soon if it's coming to the T-Slim X2. In addition to 30 existing infusion sites and tubing options, there's also the option for a five inch tube. This is super short and basically you can put the pump on you with some adhesive and then you just have that little tubing that goes on you as well. This is like the closest we've seen to a tube pump kind of almost going to that tubeless form factor and that is part of the plan with this pump, or rather the tandem line of pumps that they're planning for the next few years. And I'll get to that in just a second. This pump has an IP28 rating for water resistance. The pump really doesn't have any ports. This is very similar to what I saw with the Beta Bionics, which I've shown on this channel as well. There's no charging ports. It is a pretty compact device for this water resistance. So how do you charge it? wireless charging, just like Beta Bionics. Uh, it seems like it will come with its own wireless charger. I do have an image of that. I'm not sure if that is Tandem's image, but this was circulating the internet. My thoughts are is that it would be able to charge with any Qi charger, not a doctor. Don't quote me on that. I'm sure the FDA doesn't want us doing that, but I did test that with the Beta Bionics pump and it worked. And lastly, because there is no screen on the pump or port, this is going to get remote software updates. So I'm sure from the phone, it will connect to the pump and it will just update it whenever it needs updates, which is pretty awesome. Now let's talk about the future of this pump. From my research, this is just the beginning of kind of a Tandem's plan for getting to a tubeless pump. This device is sort of a hybrid with some short tubing and eventually they wanna go tubeless. Instead of this little tail that comes out, they want to create a possible Moby tubeless option, which would have a disposable on-body kit. There have been conceptual designs that show it adhering directly to the body with a black rectangle shape and a removable insulin cartridge. 
Uh, that would give it a little more versatility than a tubeless pump like Omnipod. What I do know is Tandem acquired a tubeless pump company back in December of 2022, or at least there was an announcement of it, and that was a pump company or a pump called Siggy. S-I-G-I. Now, there's not much information of how this tubeless pump works, but we can only imagine that they are working on one, and it seems to be an explosion of tubeless pumps. Of course, you got Omnipod, then you have Tandem working on this one, and then you also have Medtronic working on one. They are in the process of acquiring EOFlow. I came out with a whole video explaining everything there is to know about EOFlow because it was already being used. It's a South Korean company. Watch my video on all of that. I'll put it at the end of this video and in the description. Now, why is this a good thing? Competition. If we have three tubeless pumps on the market, it is going to drive innovation. The more competition there is, the faster these companies need to work to get their pump to be better than the competition. So I'm welcoming all of these tubeless pumps into the market, and I'm really excited to see where this industry or where this technology goes. Now the question is, when can you get the current version of Moby that was just cleared by the FDA? Tandem anticipates that there will be a limited release of the product in the fall of 2023 and that they hope to get full FDA approval, I'm not sure what that means, in 2024. Maybe that means the closed loop system, maybe that's not cleared yet, but they do have the device cleared. I need some more information on that. Please don't quote me, that is all I know and I will try to update you with a pinned comment in the future. Let me know, what do you think of this thing? Would you wear this? If you're wearing a tubeless pump now, would you consider going to a tube pump if it really is just that five inches? And if you have a longer tube pump, which only exists right now, would you consider switching to this? Would you like that mobility? Let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for a podcast episode. I'm gonna talk to Gary Shiner all about Moby. He's learned a lot about it, so I'm gonna get as much information as I can from him on the podcast that will release on a Monday all podcast platforms, and on YouTube in video form. I'm also in the works on getting someone from Tandem to talk to me about it. I think that won't happen for a few months until they are in more of a phase where people are starting to use it, but I'm very excited for that. To make sure you are up to date on all of my content, make sure you subscribe. There's a button down there. You can also click that bell if you wanna get alerts when my videos drop. Give this video a like so other people can find it, and find me on social media, diabet underscore tech. I'm on Instagram. TikTok, and even threads. I don't know if people are using that, but I, I'm on there. And then there's also Diabetech, my podcast. It's on all podcast platforms. Just search my name. There's no underscore on that. And yeah, I've got so much more coming for you. So keep it here on Diabetech. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.